Hello everyone, Chance here. Uh, this is Q&A number 18. If you'd like to leave me questions in the next Q&A, please leave them down in the comment section below. Just know that the next Q&A will be with my girlfriend. I'll have her with me. We'll be answering questions together. So please leave me questions that uh, can be left for both of us to answer so that way it's more interactive for her as well. But yeah, let's get right into the questions. OC Airsoft. Boxers or briefs? I'd say neither, because I like boxer briefs. I feel like briefs are too fucking weird, and then I feel like boxers are too loose. So I like boxer briefs. <laughs> Mixed airsoft. What's better, browsers or airsoft? Probably airsoft, because I've never wanted to hang myself after airsoft. I'm not even going to attempt to say your name, because I'm afraid I'm going to fuck it up so bad and look like an idiot online, so I'm just going to start <laughs> saying what your question was. Sup, G? What would you suggest to upgrade first on an AEG? Love your vids, keep that up. Thank you, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, what's upgrade first? It just depends on your gun. Uh, like, for me, I use a lot of ICS guns, so a lot of their newer lines, you can use uh, 11 ones in them just fine, and you don't really have to have a MOSFET. Uh, a MOSFET, of course, is recommended, that way you don't have any sort of issues down the road. And it also, the MOSFET will help a little bit with trigger response and also your rate of fire. So... I would say a MOSFET, but that's not the number one thing I would say. It's super helpful, and it might be, but it depends on your gun. It, uh, MOSFET and battery might be one of them. I can't really pick the number one thing to upgrade, but I'll give you like a list of three. Uh, uh, motor, because I play semi-auto, so I get a, if you get a really nice high-torque motor, you can really, really help in your uh, trigger response. And then a barrel just to help with your accuracy. Because at range, when your BBs start to drift off, it gets annoying. And it's nice to keep your BBs in a very, very tight pattern. So I would say motor, barrel, and MOSFET and battery. Guy on a bike. At what age did you lose your virginity? Uh, about when I was four, I had this really, really fucked up uncle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ian Morales? Uh, hey, man, I have a super quick question. I've always been a fan of your videos since day one, and I love your MP7 videos. Thank you. Uh, he's like, I got my own, and I was wondering if the Reeps bucking that you use makes a really big, makes a big difference to range and accuracy. Thanks. Uh, it just depends. Like, I'm not a gas guru. I feel like I know AEGs pretty well, more than the average person. But when it comes to gas guns, I'm very inexperienced. I have, like, gas handguns, but my only actual rifle that's not a technical handgun is my MP7. It's a KWA. And I'm just not super experienced with it. I was using propane in it, and it swelled my bucking. The propane did, so my BBs couldn't see into the hop-up and go through the barrel. So I had to get a new bucking, which is a Reaps bucking. And it had good reviews, but to be honest with you, I don't really notice a difference than the stock bucking, to be honest. And I honestly don't really like the MP7 hop-up because it feels like when you adjust the hop-up unit, uh, you can't like just rotate it. It clicks. So sometimes it'll be dropping the BBs, and I'll click it just one time. And then they'll be floating up. And it's almost like I wish there was a little more, like, dexterity in the hop-up. So, to be honest with you, I can't really tell you if it's better or not. It's a cheap bucking. I think it was, like, $10. So, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal if it doesn't outperform the stock bucking. But I will say it was worth 10 bucks because I needed one. But it's not, not that I noticed it's any different. But also, I play mainly CQB. So, I'm not really the guy to ask. But, yeah, I thought mine was okay. It was worth 10 bucks. DHG Ghost Kill. He says, what made you want to wear ABU camera? Love your vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, I switched over to OD Green now. I wear everything OD Green our team does now. Uh, but originally what it was is our team name was Malicious Airsoft. And our patch that we wear is a dude getting punched in the face. And the whole thing behind that was because in the military, the Air Force wears uh, ABU, which is Airman Battle Uniform. And the Air Force in the real military is really harshly ridiculed a lot of people say they're pussies and all this stuff you know there's like a lot of stereotypes and a lot of stuff behind the air force that a lot of people trash talk and i always thought it would be funny if we show up to games wearing abu our team name is malicious airsoft and it's a dude getting punched in the face and then we show up and we just rape everyone we just I, it was kind of an ironic joke at first that it was supposed to be like a just i don't know kind of a stereotype that we're making fun of but i don't even think abu is still used by the air force anymore I could be wrong, but it also, like, the joke kind of wore out a while ago, and we've been using that pattern for years. So we decided just to switch over to OD Green and just kind of get rid of the joke, I guess. Robert Hero, he says, Hi, I'm new to your channel, and I was just curious. Have you ever had a tattoo messed up by a BB? I have a few tattoos, but I don't want them to get messed up from hits. Is there any tips that you have to protect them from being messed up? I have uh, 
fuck, I th think right when I got this half of my sleeve done is, uh... I think I got shot. It was still healing. Like, I had it wrapped up still and still had, uh, like, an ointment over it to keep it lubricated. And it got shot, like, three times that day. Uh, it was kind of scabbed up, but it did, like, heal over. If you keep it healthy and you don't pick at it, it will usually heal over. At least mine did. You can't even notice BB hits. At least I don't think. But, uh, yeah, you should be fine. What I do is I will also keep my sleeves down. Believe it or not, when you have a sleeve, like, an actual piece of fabric, I mean, like your shirt over it that little bit of uh layering will actually keep it from maybe being a bloody welt to just a red welt and that could be night and day especially on a tattoo that's healing anarchy what's under the beanie <laughs> bald bald no i don't know i just wear a beanie mainly because when i get ready to make videos i hate fucking doing my hair and shit like i feel like i actually wear glasses i don't know where my glasses are but i actually wear glasses and for the videos I used to just like put my contacts in and then get my hair done just so I look presentable, but it just got fucking annoying. Like I hate doing my hair. So I just I'm like, I'll put the beanie on so I don't have to. And then I throw my contacts in for the video. So I actually wear glasses. But uh Yeah. Just hair under the beanie. There's nothing special. I'm not bald or anything. It's just I just get really lazy and I don't like to do my hair. So I throw the beanie on so I don't have to deal with it. So this is a private conversation I had and someone asked me this question, but I'm not going to put their name up on the screen just so they aren't involved and people don't spam them with anything or whatever it may be. But he asked me if I'm still sponsored by ICS and the question, the answer to that question is no, I am not. Uh, I let my contract run out. I've been a sponsor since 2015, I believe. Yeah, I think it was 2015. I signed up 2015 and I got my contract all the way through the end of 2016. I renewed it through the year of 2017 and I was supposed to renew it again this year. And to be honest with you, the reason I did not renew my contract, like I didn't get released or anything. I didn't get like they didn't kick me off, nothing like that. It's just I did not want to renew my contract with them. And to be honest with you, I'm just going to explain this. I still think ICS is the best airsoft company out there. I will still always rep ICS. I will still always uh, spread the word of ICS because I still think for the best bang for your buck, they have the best performance, the most features, the most innovative products, and the most coolest looking stock guns and everything, I feel like, compared to any other manufacturer. That's just my opinion. And they make upgrading a fucking breeze. I just feel like there's no company that's even close to ICS, and that's my opinion. You can have yours, but that's my opinion. And I will still always use the ICS guns. So it's not the products themselves, but it's the company themselves. Like, I still feel like they just don't have an American market like they don't have an American company like uh, you know how you have like Echo One USA there's it's the US version of Echo One so that way they can communicate with all the American customers ICS does not have that it's so hard to communicate with them and then on top of that they would just ask me stupid things like hey can you start putting your videos in Spanish that way we can market it in like South America and all this stuff and it's like no like I don't want to well not South America because that would be Portuguese but uh, it just got frustrating, them trying to, like, tell me, hey, can you do this, can you do this, can you do this, can you do this? And it's like, no, that's not what I want to fucking do, dude. That's not what my channel's about. I don't want to fucking go through the extra effort to, like, make my videos in Spanish just so my comment section then will be everyone speaking Spanish. It's like, I don't, I can't even speak Spanish. Like, I don't know what the fuck you expect. Like, are you saying that because I'm kind of brown? Like, I'm not fucking Spanish. I'm actually Greek. I'm not fucking Spanish. And it just got so fucking frustrating that they would always ask me stupid shit like that. And then what really set me over the line was to be an ICS captain, which is the program they offer for sponsors. There's probably less than 100 in the entire world. And when you sign up, they say you get to go to SHOT Show. You get all these free products. We will sponsor your events. But to be honest with you, you ask them, can you sponsor my event? And they'll tell you, well, how many people are going? And it's like... Well, it's a small tournament, and so there's probably 50 to 100, and they'll be like, not enough people to go. It's not enough interest for us to sponsor it. I'm like, I understand that, but why the fuck even on the contract it says you will sponsor my events? That's the perk for me fucking spreading your name, your company name around for me being a sponsored player. Is These are my perks, and I'm not getting them. And I'm fortunate enough, I was able to get the ICS BLE, the ICS Captain, and the new ICS Mars Rifle. The Komodo, I was able to get all those, and it's fucking awesome. But what pisses me off is, let's say if there were 70 ICS captains, I shit you not, 50 of them never got any sponsors for their events, never got sent to SHOT Show, never got any free guns, nothing. And they're spreading this name of ICS for nothing. 
and there's a private group that I'm a part of where I'm able to communicate with all these captains. We're all together in a group on Facebook, and I'm able to see how fucked up this is. I thought I had it okay getting some free guns and shit, like, and I thought, alright, that's not so bad, but these other captains are getting screwed. The only reason I got the benefits that they sort of promised in the contract was because I have 20 plus thousand subs on YouTube. A lot of these other captains don't, and they just go, well, so be it, and it's like, when I signed this contract, you promised me these things, and I'm not getting them. And what set me over the top by far, which made me not renew my contract with them, was that they said, we have 11 of these ICS Mars rifles. We're going to be sending them out randomly, and whoever gets them, we'll make the videos or whatever or not. And if you don't get one, we apologize. Just apply next time we have a new gun out, and hopefully you can get it. And it was a bunch of fucking bullshit, because 11 of us got it. I was one of them. I actually have it right fucking here. And what pissed me off the most was the fact that they told me, hey, just so you know, your gun's going to this channel. I'm not going to name him because it's not his fault. But he's actually one of my friends on YouTube. He has like 100,000 subs. And they're like, we're going to send the gun to him first, and then he'll send it to you. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm getting it for free. I'm perfectly okay with that. But I fucking won that gun. It should come to me first. Not only that... This kid's not even sponsored by ICS, so why the fuck is he getting more perks to ICS guns than the fucking ICS captains? Like, there were 60 plus ICS captains who never received a gun, and still to this day, they haven't received any gun from ICS. Out of the three ICSs given away to captains, there's many, there's probably 50 plus uh, ICS sponsored players out of like the 70 or 80 of us total that have never received not even one gun. Nothing. And this fucking kid, who's not even sponsored by ICS, gets a gun before them. And it's fucked up. And it's bullshit. It's just a bogus fucking program. The ICS program they offer is fucking, uh, it's just bullshit. You don't get, I got stuff out of it just because of my channel size. But if you're an average person, you don't have a big following on the internet, and you do somehow win the ICS captain program, just so you know, they will not sponsor your events. You are not going to SHOT Show, and you are not getting guns. You have to work your fucking ass off, and you're lucky you get a gun. If that, out of the 80 people who are captain 70 or 80 or whatever, like 10 of them, they send out 10 guns, which is understandable, but all I'm saying is, you promised us this shit on a fucking contract we signed, and you can't fulfill it. That's on your fucking end, it's not on the captain's end. And that's why I did not renew my contract. Um, I still love ICS, I'll still always support them, but as a business-wise, how they treated the captains is bullshit. I felt like I was still slightly undertreated. And I got way more benefits than almost anyone that was an ICS captain. And that's what's fucked up. Is It bothers me that I feel like they're not fulfilling their agreements to the fullest with me. But what makes me most mad is they're fucking over these smaller guys who were promised all these things. And just because they don't have 20,000 subs on YouTube, they just don't get it. And that's fucked up. Because here they are night and day preaching ICS and promoting you guys. And they get nothing in return. Just because you don't want to. Even though you promised them on a contract. And that's why I don't want to be... Renewing my contract with them. That's why I'm no longer sponsored by ICS. And I could honestly, it feels great. I told myself this months ago. I was like, I'm not going to renew my contract with ICS. I'm fucking sick of this company. They aren't treating me the way it should be treated. And they're treating the other players like complete dog shit. And I just don't want no part of that. And they're still a great company. Like still to this day, I will always buy ICS guns. If I see a new gun come out, I will buy it. I'm not going to like, like just avoid the company but i'm just saying that's why i left ics i'm no longer sponsored by them i apologize for the huge rant but that shit gets me going i think it's fucked up this big company bullshit just fucking i can't explain it these channels and these people don't have as big of a following as me so they hang it over their head like hey you don't have enough subscribers or enough audience viewers for us to send you the gun it's like i understand that but when i signed up for a, this sponsorship you promised me these things will happen and they're not and you're fucking me over and instead of giving the gun to me you give it to a kid who's not even sponsored by ICS and that's what's most fucked up so rant over I apologize for the long rant it just gets me going I hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave me questions down in the comment section below for my girlfriend and I to answer in the next Q&A hope you guys enjoy this video you guys be safe and take care peace if you really care.